Good evening. My name is Jed Disler, and I am the new artistic director for Salon Concerts at Club Fear House. And this is the final event in our Easter weekend extravaganza. And uh, we are very happy to have our live audience here. And we have an extraordinary number of viewers who have tuned into our live stream. And I welcome all of you. Our dear late friend, Joseph Patrick, started the series exactly two years ago to provide an inclusive environment and expressive forum for pianists of all generations. And thanks to the generosity of Clavier House, all of our artists perform on top quality concert pianos in an intimate setting that promotes engagement between performer and listener while recording and live streaming further broadens the reach of each concert. And we encourage everyone after the concert to check out the showroom pianos, or you can visit them online by visiting clavierhouse.com, where you can browse the available inventory and learn more about their expert piano restoration services. We rely on donations to continue giving performance opportunities to artists who need and deserve them. And donations are tax deductible thanks to our fiscal sponsor, Piano on Park, a nonprofit organization committed to enriching the cultural fabric of New York City. And we have completed our tier one goals for the 2024 calendar year and all contributions here on in go to artists and at the end of the year, the contributions are pooled and then evenly distributed among the pianists who have played in 2024. And we have a goal for $10,000 for the end of the year and uh, our cutoff point is November 30th and we welcome whatever you can donate to us. That will be much, much appreciated. We have our donation box here. You can also donate on the website, salon.clavierhouse.com. And I would like to welcome an absolutely extraordinary pianist and musician who, it ha who, who played a wonderful program last night. And tonight, uh, he was scheduled to play the opening section of Sarabji's fifth piano sonata. There's a name that I cannot completely remember because I was asked to mention this and it's escaping me, but, uh, but uh, there were some issues with that. So instead he will open the program with the opening sections from Kaikisaru Sorabji's Opus Clavisembolisticum. And the program goes on with two extraordinary sonatas by Karol Szymanowski, the sonatas numbers two and three, and then concluding with the sonatas six and three by a wonderful Russian composer, Samuel Feinberg, who is very much out of this Scriabin school, but he completely goes his own way and writes such imaginative piano music. He also was one of the great pianists of his generation. But I'd like to welcome now one of the indisputably great pianists of his generation. Please, please, please welcome Yi Chung Huang.
Rudolf Serkin said that until he heard Vladimir Horowitz in person, he never understood the possibilities of the piano until then. I have heard in concert and have been very moved by Vladimir Horowitz, Martha Argerich, the young Ivo Pogorelich, Cecil Taylor. I have worked with and befriended and heard Frederick Jeffsky, Robert Helps, Bill Evans, Dick Hyman, Mark Andre Hamelin. All I can say is thank God I have lived long enough to hear you, Yi Chung. Rem I think we will all remember this evening forever. Thank you for a beautiful evening of music and I want to thank all of you watching on the live stream for joining us and please your donations are much appreciated online or in person and if you have any questions about the instruments at Clavier House please come and visit here during the week or go to clavierhouse.com next week April 6th at 5 p.m. Mikhail, uh, oh God, I am blanking on saying his last name correctly. Please help me. Farhan, please, how do you say Mikhail's last name? Voskresensky. I'm so, I'm so, so sorry because I'm just kind of overwhelmed now. He will be here to give a master class April 6th at 5 o'clock and we'll be playing a recital at two o'clock on April 7th featuring Schumann and Prokofiev. And I hope you will join us live and for the live stream. Thank you for being here and have a wonderful day. Excuse me. Okay. Um, would you like to uh, say a few things? Are, are you up for it? You don't have to, you don't have to. Or, or why don't you, Farhan? I'd like to introduce uh, Farhan Malik, who was hosting last night, and uh, we'll have a very brief discussion. Concert. Thank you very much. And I'd just like to ask you um, how you choose these pieces and why you are attracted to these ones. Hmm. Very good question. Uh, because I'm, I'm pretty tired of the, all those flashy uh, list Alkan Talberg uh, stuff. So, <laughs> and I, I al always like more complex music and like. You know, I, I listen to a lot of or orchestral music, operas, and stuff like that. And uh, I, I always uh, appreciate the compli um, complexity of um, solo piano music or chamber music or s stuff like that. And I absolutely like the composers I, I presented in these two days. Yeah, and. Uh, how long does it take you to learn, say, one of those pieces? Well, um, I started um, Chimanovsky Third Sonata and five, um, Chimanovsky Third Sonata last year in May, and Feinberg Three, Feinberg Third Sonata in in June, and uh, uh, and 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 the, and the rest, most of the rest are, are started at like December, November, December stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, to, to memorize these pieces is, seems quite incredible. Uh, can you explain, like, is it really comes easily or super? Oh, it's super hard because yeah. I, I took so much time on memorizing Opus Archimagicum, which sadly I cannot perform today. Right, because of a copyright issue, yep. you learned. <laughs> uh, but you will perform it when the copyright is 
over. Once, once the copyright is over, I hope I, I will learn the whole thing. So. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what pieces do you have like that, that you want to learn next? Well, good question. Uh, maybe the complete um, Opus Archimetricum because it's my absolute favorite Sorachi piece and uh, Feinberg Sonatas, um, maybe um, Roslavitz, um, Metner, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. My favorite composers, by the way. And can you tell me, are you, have any pianists that are like sort of influence for you or that you really enjoy listening to? Um, my favorite pianists are all of all of the old school, um, like um, Sergei Rachmaninoff, um, Joseph Hoffman, Joseph Davin, Vladimir Sofronitsky, um, uh, Maria Udina, Samuel Feinberg. Oh, that's very good choices. Also, also my uh, favorites, my, my oh, area. Really? Yeah, and uh, uh, is there anything you want to tell us um, about the program today? Um, that maybe we didn't know, like as just listening for the first time. Like, mm, like those are my some of my favorite pieces written for piano solo. So, and how do you discover like some of these pieces? Like, cause well, <laughs> I, I'm quite a nerd, maybe. <laughs> and like you picked, there's twelve Feinberg sonatas, and you picked. These two um, specifically, yeah, yeah, yeah. and because they're they're different ones than like uh, Hamlin, he likes to play two and four in concert. And well, I, I just downloaded everything from IMSLP, and um, I <laughs> I thought um, the third and the sixth will be <laughs> will be manageable for me. But apparently, I I, I didn't do 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 it well today. Uh, sorry, Feinberg. Oh, we d we don't agree, <laughs> but. Uh, I was noticing so much that uh, what was really impressing me is your care about sound and dynamics and, and counterpoint and the sense of where all the voices are going. And uh, I was thinking, you know, when we were talking about repertoire, uh, the, what was so interesting about the Shimanovsky piece is how both sonatas end with fugues, these crazy fugues. Yes. And also the, uh, the last Feinberg sonata. And uh, does contrapuntal music appeal to you more than uh, vertical music? Oh, absolutely. Because um, as, as we all know, the best composer, well, the most influential composer ever is Johann Sebastian Bach. Mm -hmm. So. Counterpoint is the, the highest form of music, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. One piece that never gets played these days, and I was only thinking about it because some of the melodic gestures in the Shimanovsky kind of reminded me of it, Hindemith's Ludus Tonalis. Oh, yes. Have you played that? Uh, no, I haven't played any hin hin I think you. I think that would be an absolutely wonderful piece for you. I agree. Um, I'm more into Hindemith um, orchestral pieces than piano solos. So. Well, there. Well, th then you have to make a transcription of Mathis de Mahler, oh, the entire oh. opera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm a, I'm a really big Mahler fan, by the way. Well, you, you know, I've been playing the Mahler symphonies four hands all over the world. So, but but you could do the solo versions of them. Well, I think one piano is not not, not enough. I need an orchestra. I think so, but you know there is a but there there, there is a solo version of the tenth symphony. Yes, I'm aware of it. Yeah, which which I think would be, but but I I I think you I think you can. Because it's very contrapuntal, but I think all contrapuntal music works on the piano because the piano is very much a line instrument. Maybe we, we, we can try to get an organ. Well, that could be very interesting, you know. But there, you know, there's also for organ, there's the list uh, ad nos fantasy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I, I, I hope I didn't sound so crazy and exaggerated before when I was talking about all of those other pianists. But this is a very special evening, and uh, thank you, thank you so much for, for sharing your gift and this wonderful music with 
us here in person and uh, online. So, and thank you, Farhan, for being here. Congratulations, and thank you again for this wonderful, really unique experience, I think, for all of us to be here. And we wish you the best of luck in the future. And great thank you very much. Thank you for everything. Have a great, great night. Thank you.